In this video, we'll look at how to publish reports in a WPF application with our Print Preview tool. We'll look at the default form, and then I'll show you how to customize it. I'll start with a WPF application containing a Data Aware report. To invoke the standard Print Preview form showing the report, use methods of the Print Helper class. To use this class, your project must reference the xpf.printing and xpf.core libraries. The Print Helper class provides methods for invoking a print preview with either the standard toolbar or a ribbon toolbar. You can use the toolbar to navigate through pages, zoom in and out, print the report, or export it to any of the supported formats. When content editing is enabled for a report, you can highlight all editing fields in the document by using the button on the toolbar. The viewer also provides the document map for navigating throughout a document using bookmarks, the parameters panel for editing report parameters, and the search panel for locating required data. If you want to customize your own print preview, you'll need to have a subscription to our WPF controls. Open the main window.xaml file of your application and drop the document preview control onto the window. This generates the following XAML code. Right-click the document viewer, select layout, and then fill all to fill the entire window. Go to the Properties window and specify the viewer's name. By default, the Document Preview has a ribbon toolbar. If you need to change the layout or remove the toolbar, click the Document Preview Smart Tag and use the Command Bar Style property. Then, handle the Windows Loaded event. In the Event Handler, create a report instance and assign it to the Preview's Document Source property. Make sure to call the report's create document method to generate a final document for print preview. Let's run the application and take a look. You can change the theme two ways. Either use the control smart tag and choose from the dropdown, or specify the theme name in the application constructor using the application theme helper class. And here is the new theme at runtime. Remember, you can translate your application resources to different languages using our localization service at localization.devexpress.com. And that's it for this video. You can learn more about our reporting suite from the documentation on our website, or you can watch the videos from our playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel for all of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.